Uh, thank you, Steve, for your uh, typically generous remarks and for your friendship and your support over the years. One of the real joys in my professional life is having the opportunity to work every day with individuals and leaders in the community as talented, as passionate, and quite frankly, as nice as Steve Cutler and as my extraordinary co-honoree, Brackett Denniston. But this occasion is not about Brackett. It's not about me. It's about the pro bono partnership, and it's about pro bono service generally. As is true of so many in this room, I attended law school, selected my professional home, charted my career path in the hope that I would be able to make a positive difference in the world. My idealism, to be sure, has evolved and matured over the past 30 years, but it still is manifest. No doubt, each of our career paths has taken unexpected twists and turns. Mine sure has. For example, I never thought sitting in my constitutional law seminar or in my civil rights legislation course that 30 years later, I would spend much of every day representing financial institutions and mastering the esoterica of CDOs, CLOs, SIVs, CLNs, RMBS, and dealing with the SEC, the DOJ, the CFTC, the NYAG, the PSI, and the FSA, or representing the National Football League in concussion litigations and learning the neuropsychological markers of CTE, or frankly, running the Paul Weiss Law Firm. But while my professional path has taken unexpected turns, my desire to help the less fortunate has only intensified, especially now, as times have become so difficult and challenging for those less fortunate members of our society. Heading a law firm like Paul Weiss has provided me an opportunity to give back in a significant way. While I'm pleased that our firm has weathered the financial crisis, what I'm most proud of as chair, as Steve alluded to a moment ago, is the fact that we've doubled our pro bono hours and we've dramatically expanded our pro bono reach. In many ways, my pro bono service has come full circle. 30 years ago tomorrow, I interviewed for a summer associate position at Paul Weiss, in large part on the strength of the firm's pro bono tradition and commitment, and the fact that giants of the firm, like Simon Rifkind, Arthur Lyman, and Ted Sorensen, spent large portions of their professional life doing pro bono work and giving back to the community. For the past 30 years, I've tried to follow their model and to serve the community as best as I could, whether as a lawyer directly performing pro bono services, as a partner supervising others, as a board member of pro bono organizations, as someone who has written many, many large checks in support of worthwhile pro bono causes, or as the head of a large law firm ensuring that we all give back in a meaningful way at every level which brings me to why we're all here tonight. The Pro Bono Partnership celebrating its 15th anniversary is a wonderful organization whose hallmark is giving back and making a positive difference in the community. It has accomplished extraordinary things in its history, and it has helped thousands of organizations and individuals, as you've heard tonight and as you saw in that wonderful video that was aired earlier. And it has achieved its success by partnering with law firms and with corporate law departments to provide essential legal services to the underserved. Paul Weiss is honored to have collaborated closely with the Pro Bono Partnership and its superb staff on so many worthwhile projects in recent years. And we look forward to working together even more closely in the years to come as we try to make the world a better, more humane, and more caring place and to ensure that vital legal services can be delivered most effectively and efficiently to those most in need. I am honored to be here this evening in support of the Pro Bono Partnership, and I am particularly touched to be surrounded by so many friends and colleagues. I appreciate each and every day how fortunate I am to be able to do what I do. Everyone in this room is very, very lucky and we all need to remember the importance of giving back and of helping the less fortunate members of our community. 
as Arthur Lyman taught me, by words, and more importantly, by example. There simply is no higher or more rewarding form of service. I thank you all for this wonderful recognition. I thank you all for your truly extraordinary generosity, but it is the pro bono partnership that really deserves our plaudits. Thank you, everyone.